Okay, um, I thought I would share some observations uh, that I've collected after getting a couple of, um, you know, new uh, toys here. So, you probably saw, um, if you give two shits about this, uh, that stuff that I was you know, complaining about on HDMI and all that. Okay, so, as, as one final Hail Mary, as one final attempt just to say, say okay, let's just... Let's just see, you know, if I if I completely bend over, if I completely spread eagle, if I stitch my palms to my ankles and just say, all right, I'll, I'll go completely vanilla. I'll do exactly what you want, Hollywood. I will do the most vanilla thing in the world and, and see how it works out. So I bought like a cheap, re well, relatively speaking, a, a cheap uh, monitor and receiver just to see if you could even like make this shit work at all, just just to see if it was even you know possible. Not even trying to do anything out of the ordinary. So so this monitor, I got this um, uh, thirty two G R ninety three U B monitor, and it, it's basically just you know a, a very standard IPS thirty two inch four K, one hundred forty four hertz. Uh, you know, adaptive sync uh, monitor. It doesn't have a G-Sync module in it. It doesn't have a G-Sync hardware module. It's uh, you know, standard crap. And it you know, supposedly supported HDMI 2.1. So, because that was on sale for 550 bucks. So I got that. And then Costco had this deal on this, on this you know, cheaper um, Denon uh, receiver, uh, you know, HDMI 2.1 uh, receiver. And so, so I got those two things. I said, all right, so, all right, so I'll give up my ultra wide. I'll give it all up. You know, fine, you win. You win, shitty planet. You win, Hollywood. I'll do whatever you want. And, um, and, and so, so these are basically, you know, my findings, you know, with this setup. So um, long story short, 144 hertz doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work. You, you, you can't, it, it won't happen. You can't do it. Because basically... This uh, this Denon receiver, it, it, it will it, you, you will never be able to set it at 144 hertz. So cloning at 144 hertz will never ever work properly. Um, and uh, you can't do eARC, you know, with, with the monitor. And if you pass through, you'll only get 120 hertz on the LG monitor, not 144. To get 144 through HDMI 2.1 on this piece of shit. You have to connect, uh, you know, your your uh, graphics card directly to the monitor. You can't you can't do it through a receiver pass through. So basically, that's compromise number one. You have to make you have to just give up all delusions of doing anything besides 120 hertz because it's not going to fucking work. And, and even if you force it, which I which I also tried doing, I tried fucking forcing it, and it has the same problem where if you're running in cloned mode to get rid of the phantom display. Any program you run internally, any any like Windows API or whatever you call, it's gonna report the lowest common denominator fucking refresh rate, and, and so and, and which which completely fucks programs like Final Fight because because Final Fight's gonna say like all right, I need to determine you know how to calculate all, like the timing of of everything based on your refresh rate, and and if you're actually running at 144 hertz, but you're telling me that you're 120, it's gonna be fucked. So so basically. Um, to get it working, I essentially had to say, all right, fine, I'll give up. I'm going to set the LG at 120 hertz. Um, the Denon has been enabled for its, you know, 8K HDMI mode and all that. And it's running at 4K, 120 hertz. So they're both running at the same refresh rate and resolution. And cloning under those circumstances, it does actually kind of work. Um... So, 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 so you can sort of do it. I mean, like it, it does kind of work. But and here's the other thing, though, too. Pass through is not a fucking option for like your display. Um, and and also on top of that, too, HDMI 2.1 is not an acceptable solution for video on on a computer if you want to do variable refresh or anything. So, um, I tried hooking this thing up every way that you could possibly do it. You know, using HDMI 2.1 and uh, display port and basically it was not possible to do HDMI 2.1 with variable refresh without the um, you know without hitching without blackouts without the screen uh, you know uh, you know intermittently uh, freezing it just doesn't fucking work it has to be display port so so give up 
on on using HDMI 2.1 for everything. It's not going to fucking work. Uh, so yeah, so 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 that's basically uh, you know what you have to do. The, the other thing too I want to mention uh, as well is that um, the other monitor, like like the, like the like my the, my ultra wide monitor, the, you know, my 38 inch one, you know the 384 by 1600 uh, monitor. That one actually has a hardware G-Sync module. And here's the thing. People, like, every shill on the planet, every shitty hardware review you read, everything, they're all going to go like, Oh, yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, you can uh, fucking, uh, uh, you know, get, uh, you know, variable refresh, you know, with HDMI or, or adaptive sync or what. Yeah, yeah, it, just, it just works, whatever, you know. Uh, they, you know, they, they all pretend it's fucking fine. It isn't. Um, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't fucking work, uh, you know, properly unless you use DisplayPort. And even more than that, um, what I found is um, variable refresh is like really, really fucking sensitive uh, on these things um, to uh, you know, like activity on your computer. So, so like with the hardware G-Sync module, you know, you can be, uh, you know compiling MAME and, uh, you know, building the Linux kernel or, you know, whatever the fuck you want to do, right? You know, any crazy shit on your computer. And it just doesn't matter. Like, you know, like if you're playing Samurai Showdown 2 and MAME, the shadow flickering will be rock fucking solid. However, um, if, a, if, if, you're, if you're using adaptive sync or HDMI 2.1 variable refresh, if a mouse fucking farts, um, you're going to lose sync. And you're gonna get fucking irregular, you know, um, you know, updates with that shit. Like, so, so don't, don't, don't give me this line of fucking crap. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you don't need a G-Sync hardware module. It's just, you know, Nvidia Snake. Oil. No, actually, like, it's just fucking better. It's just fucking better, man. And um, so, so that is kind of like a real. I mean, it's a problem. Because, because, because I've even noticed too, there are like. API level differences where um, adaptive sync, depending on like you know how the graphics are being displayed, at least on Windows, I can only speak you know to the Windows stuff. Um, it, it, the the behavior varies a lot, like um, uh, whether it's full screen exclusive or whether it's borderless windowed or whether it's you know Direct Three D twelve. Uh, you know, which, uh, you know, flip uh, model you're using, you know, for your, uh, you know, uh, graphics, all, you know, all that shit, it actually impacts whether or not the variable ref refresh actually works properly. Whereas if you have a hardware G-Sync module, it just always fucking works and it doesn't matter. You don't even care. So, so really like that, that's kind of like the Achilles heel of this is that, you know, I, I have, I have things configured right now in a way where it, it's all pretty much okay. Uh, and, and, it, and it pretty much works for the things that I use, but I'm not going to pretend that it's as good as having a hardware G-Sync module because it, it, it isn't. It, it isn't. It's not as fucking good. You, you really want a hardware G-Sync module if you can get one. And the thing that scares me is you can just see how the industry is phasing that shit out. You know, you know first of all, NVIDIA changed their G-Sync Ultimate specification so that um, in, in the past, to get you know like G, the G Sync Ultimate label, you used to ha like actually have to have a, you know a hardware module in there, but now you don't. You don't even need that to get that certification anymore. And and, and very few new displays actually have hardware G Sync modules. They, they, like, almost none of them you know have them anymore. I mean, most of the ones that do are like two or three years old now. And so I have the feeling that that shit's going to be phased out. So that's just going to be yet another fucking thing where like technology in some respect it's going to actually get worse over time where there's going to be this kind of like older set of monitors that actually did some shit better than the new, than the new ones kind of like analogous to how like CRTs you know still do some things better than you know contemporary displays it fucking sucks man this fucking sucks that you know that see 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 what i hate about the adaptive sync and the HDMI 2.1 variable refresh shit is that they fucking pretend that there's no hardware component, you know, that, that, that you can just magically get all the shit you need with, you know, software fucking fairy dust. But that isn't true because cause what the hardware G-Sync module does is that it dynamically adjusts the overdrive of the monitor depending on what the, you know, the, the refresh rate is. And, 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 you, and you just don't get that, you know, for fucking free, you know, if you don't have hardware in your you know, monitor for it. It, it isn't just going to magically happen on its fucking own. 
So, so stop fucking pretending that it's as good and that it's equivalent and that, you know, NVIDIA is the devil. You know, even though NVIDIA is the devil, in this case, they, 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 they do actually have, like, the better fucking technology. Like, sorry, it's just, like, like I said, you, you, you can rationalize it all you want, but, but it is objectively fucking better. So, and, and, and it really disgusts me how none of these fucking useless, shitty hardware fucking reviewers talk about any of this shit. I mean, it's like, it's like you look at, like, Gamers Nexus, and they have, um, you know, a fucking, uh, you know, wind tunnel that they put hardware in to test the aerodynamics of your fucking, you know, graphics card fan. And, you know, they're, they're talking about, you know, the quirks in your, you know, in, in your memory sticks. And, and, and all this, like, pseudoscience bullshit to try to justify their fucking ad revenue. And then at the end of the day, for all their bullshit, they, they don't, you know, they're incapable of observing or pointing out the fact that, you know, like, some of this basic shit, like, doesn't even fucking work. You know, I mean, that, that doesn't make, it's like, yeah, you got a fucking wind tunnel to test your hardware, but, but you forgot to mention that Adaptive Sync fucking sucks cock. Yeah, th thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Gimli. Thanks a lot, man. You're, you're, you're a really great hardware fucking reviewer, you know, you, you, can't, you can't even fucking tell people that uh, they're not even going to have, you know, like a, a proper experience in, you know, emulators and shit. You know, unless they have a G-Sync module, you couldn't fucking swing that. Yeah, fuck off. It's a goddamn joke, man. So, um, but in any case, though, I mean, like, you know, on the brighter side, though... Like I said, this does technically work. I mean, this is probably, you know, for, for, for little old me, this is probably good enough. Like, I probably don't need, you know, to go, you know, Michael Keaton nuts and, uh, you know, buy, you know, like a you know, multi-thousand dollar, you know, like Dante or AES67, you know, network audio setup. Because this, because this basically more or less gives you what you need. You know, you, you, got, you got 4K, you got 120 hertz. You got variable refresh. You don't have a phantom monitor. Basically works. I mean, you know, it, it's relatively speaking, you know, it's it's all it's all pretty nice. Um, but, but you know, you really are stuck at 4K. You really are stuck at 16:9. You know, like you really don't have fucking choice. You know, you basically just like I said, you got you have to grab ankle. You have to fucking grab ankle and just do what whatever the current standard is at the time. And, and, if, and if the industry decides that the new standard isn't going to be 4K, it's going to be something else, all of this shit that I have right now is just going to become another p fucking paperweight. But, but, but the truth, though, is, I mean, I'm just, I'm getting, you know, really cynical with this shit, and I'm just even thinking, it's like, even though on paper, the network audio shit sounds really cool, you know how it is. Nothing fucking works. It's incredibly naive to assume that that shit is actually going to work as it's advertised to. Because you almost have to assume that everything is going to be fucking broken dog shit. And, and, and at least like with this setup right now, you know, it's like, it's like you know, it might be a pile of, you know, it might be a pile of dog shit. But at least it's a pile of dog shit that costs under $1,000. Whereas if I go that other route, I could end up with a pile of dog shit that costs $20,000. And I'd rather have a thousand dollar pile of dog shit than a twenty thousand dollar pile of dog shit. I mean, that, that's that's pretty much, you know, that's it's pretty much what it boils down to. And, and and you know, and I was looking at the different sites. I mean, I was looking at like B and H Photo, and I was looking at um, you know these different places that were like selling that stuff. And all of them, they were all saying like, no refunds, no returns, no cancellations. Once you're dumb enough to buy this, you're eating it. And, and, and it's like, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, you just have to just take this leap of faith. Just fucking gamble, you know, with thousands of dollars. You know, just hoping that shit is going to actually work as it's advertised to. But you really can't make assumptions like that with, with, with this fucking electronics dog shit. Because it's just all junk. It's just all fucking crap. So, so I, so I think this might be the end of this, you know, pathetic little journey. I, I, I think, I think I might just live with this shit. You know, it, it really, it really blows to, to give up, you know, my ultra wide. You know, like I, I, I really like, you know, I mean, I, and that's the kind of thing it sucks too. I mean, I actually like my other monitor more than this one. I, I really do. I, I like it more than this one. I, I think it's actually a better monitor than this one. You know, even though. It technically has, you know, lower, you know, uh, you know, PPI, and it technically has, um, because, you know, because it, it has less vertical resolution, 
and, and and you basically have like the same horizontal resolution spread out over you know smaller you know space, but but I said though it's like I don't know I I mean th this this more or less fucking works, so I, so maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead here. So in any case, you know, if you were curious about any of that, you know, that shit, you know, getting rid of the Phantom Monitor, at least we know that the, this theory actually holds true. If you go 120 hertz, if everything is 4K, if you have, you know, and, and you have an HDMI 2.1 receiver and, um, uh, you know, a display that takes HDMI 2.1, it, it does basically work. So, so, so you can do it, you know, like clone mode in this specific scenario will actually work. Um, so that's, you know, it's, 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 it's good to know that, you know, like, like once again, you know, thank you uh, to all these shitty hardware reviewers for doing all this testing and fucking telling us that this is, you know, how it is. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, you didn't tell us jack shit. You told us fucking nothing and we had to be the fucking guinea pigs. Thanks a lot, you fucking cocksuckers. Thanks a lot.